what is up guys this is Mike from Mike Gadgets World and today is another video about the big issue that Apple 4K TV is facing so this issue is about the 4K HDR and the Dolby Vision so HDR10 and Dolby Vision they having issues so what is happening so you can see over here the format I'm running it on is 4K HDR but if I go and uh, play a movie from the iTunes movies if I play a Dolby Vision movie it should automatically switch it to Dolby Vision but it doesn't send the signal to the TV that it is playing the Dolby Vision. So what happens when I'm playing the Spider-Man Homecoming, it's in Dolby Vision format and it's through the iTunes movies. And it, it, doesn't, it doesn't show up as a Dolby Vision because it doesn't auto switch, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't match the content what I'm playing uh, with, with the HDR signal or with the Dolby Vision signal. So right now I'll I'll pause here and I'll show you this movie is Dolby Vision. I'm gonna play a couple of things to show you like how it works. So there's nothing not nothing popped up. It's playing the Dolby Vision as iTunes, but my TV it doesn't get the signal from the uh, Apple TV 4K. So if I go and check the picture menu, it will show me the HDR mode, which is by default I have selected because there's no other way you can get the HDR or Dolby Vision. So if I'm playing Dolby Vision, it's still on HDR. So after this, I'm going to do opposite. I'll select the Dolby Vision and uh, I'll play HDR content on it and see how does that work. Will it send the HDR signal to the TV or not? So regardless, it is, it is not sending any signal. So what we are using is it's like forced HDR picture mode from the Apple 4K TV. So there's no actually signal being sent to the TV so that it can respond to the Apple 4K device. So I'm going to settings and changing it to Dolby Vision and see if I play a 4K HDR 10 movie, it will, it will switch it automatically or not. So here I've selected the 4K Dolby Vision and I'm going to select this setting and I'll go back to iTunes movies and I'm going to play a 4K HDR, HDR 10 movie and see if it can switch it automatically. And I have found a solution already because there is a bug that Apple is fixing in the new update and I'll show you how to do that. So let's play the fate of the furious. It is the Dolby Vision so I'll go back and see which movie is in HDR10. Uh, I have a couple of movies mostly they are in Dolby Vision I think Oblivion it is also in Dolby Vision. Um, I think Jason Bourne is uh, let's see it's Dolby Vision most of the movies on iTunes software iTunes movies is uh, Dolby Vision so I think Alien Covenant is HDR10 so I'll play this movie, it is in HDR10 format. So if I play the Alien Covenant movie, it is HDR10 and my picture mode is right now the Dolby Vision. It is the forced picture mode settings through the Apple TV 4K. It is not actually sending the 4K HDR10 signal or the Dolby Vision signal. So let's play this movie. As you see the movie plays but there is no pop-up. Usually there's a pop-up because the uh, devices send signals to the uh, output which is TV so it plays accordingly but there is no such thing. So I mean it's not working the way it should be working. It doesn't match the content. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you can fix this issue. So first of all what you have to do is you have to go ahead and enable the beta software update. Once your beta software updates are enabled, you will get the update called TVOS 11.2. First, when you get your Apple TV 4K, it will be on 11.0, TVOS 11.0. But when you will update it for the first time, you will get update TVOS 11.1. But that doesn't fix that issue which we are facing here. So when you go for the beta update and you go for the update called TVOS 11.2, you might see some difference. I'm going to show you over here and see what difference does it make. 
In order to update to the latest uh, operating system, the beta version from the Apple, you have to go to the settings and you have to go all the way down, uh, actually the second last option to the systems and uh, go for the software updates option. So once you go to the software update option, you have to see the get beta updates. Because right now, as you can see, it's on tvOS 11.1. So it will say the TV up is updated already because there's no software available for the public uh, public uh, updates but if you go for get the beta updates and you accept and agree to the terms and conditions and you go to check the updates again you're gonna get the update OTVOS 11.2 so click on the update software and uh, you should get the message so it, it is it is weird but you have to click again and it should get the update because it, it takes time to get the information from Apple servers that there are beta updates available. So once you do it again, you will get the update. So you have all what you have to do is just download and install the update. So once the update is installed, you will be on the TV OS 11.2. I'm going to skip it through so it can we can make it real quick. So now the update has completed and my Apple TV 4K has restarted. So if we go to the settings menu and uh, we check for the operating system version that we are using right now, it should show 11.2. So go to the settings and uh, go to the system menu and uh, you will see the software version that we just updated. It's a beta version, but it fixes the issue that I was talking about. So it is using the TV OS 11.2, which is the beta release. So you should be looking at this model number, uh, the TVOS 11.2 for the update and there is no more updates available because we already updated to whatever the best possible they have available so far for this release. So now we go to the video and audio, you will see a different here, difference here. It's a match content option which wasn't there before. So this is what we are looking for in the future updates from Apple where they will introduce this match content uh, option for you guys so you can match the content accordingly. So you have to select both and make sure they both are turned on. So match dynamic range which will match the dynamic range for HDR10 and the Dolby Vision and match the frame rate which will match it to the 60Hz or 30Hz whatever is your TV can support. So now I'm gonna go and repeat the same steps I did before. I'm in 4K HDR mode right now and I'm gonna go ahead and play a movie and see if it can automatically switches to the relevant, you know, and the matching content. So I'll go and uh, play a movie and you should see a pop-up. That's how the TV and uh, the HDR signals work, you know, you should see it on your screen. So I'm going to go ahead and play the uh, play the movie for you. So right now I'm on the Dolby Vision settings. So I'm going to play uh, the HDR10 content and see if it switches back to HDR10 content. So I have a Fast and Furious 7. It is in the HDR10 format. So I'm gonna play it and see if it switches from the Dolby Vision to the 4K HDR. So right now you can see it's on Dolby Vision and I'm going to play HDR10. So as soon as I hit play, uh, I'll have to just start from the beginning and uh, you will see on top right corner, it says HDR. So now the Apple TV 4K is sending the HDR10 signal to my TV and it uh, recognizes it and shows it as the 4K HDR, rather showing the uh, Dolby Vision content, which, is, which it is not. So this is the fix that they have done. If you see here, it switches automatically to HDR. Before it wasn't switching and you don't see any pop-up. I'm gonna do another thing. I'm going to change it to the HDR 10 and I'm gonna play a Dolby Vision content and see if it switches back to Dolby Vision itself or not. So you see over here that uh, I'm back to Dolby Vision. 
but I'm going to change it to HDR10 and I'm going to play a Dolby Vision content and see if it switches automatically. So all what I'm doing is changing my um, format to the Dolby Vision. Sorry, here I'm changing it to HDR10 and I'm going to play a Dolby Vision content. The, to, the point is, uh, whatever I'm playing, it should actually display and it should pop up. That's how it should be. So the matching match content option wasn't there before. So it's in the beta OS right now, beta, beta OS 11.2, but it will be coming in the public update very soon. So I'm playing a Dolby Vision video right now, Spider-Man Homecoming. And right now the picture mode I'm on, it's uh, HDR10, which is HDR bright right now. So. I, as soon as I'll hit play for the Dolby Vision content, it should change it automatically. If it does, that means the problem is fixed. Now you're watching the relevant content and at the relevant frame rates on your TV. So I'm going to play from the beginning and keep an eye on the, yeah, here, here you go. It says Dolby Vision. So now my picture mode has already changed from the HDR10 to Dolby Vision because the content I'm playing is the Dolby Vision content. So this is all what I wanted to show you guys, like how you can fix it for temporary until they release the public update, but there's no harm updating it to beta. So you can go ahead and do that and it, you can watch the videos. They were running the Thanksgiving deal where I bought a lot of movies uh, from the iTunes movies. And they're running pretty much good. Like they're, 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 their system is really good. The hardware they're using is, uh, is really good. The way it decodes and it plays the movies is so crisp and super clean. It kind of matches the quality of a Blu-ray 4K player. So that's all from this video guys. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos and more solutions. And uh, peace out.